He is always inspiring and leading his Marines at the front lines. He is the first of the firstborn to cross the Rubicon Primaris. He is the Lord Defender of Greater Ultramar and the Lord of Macrag. He is Marnaeus Calgar. Welcome on in, brothers and sisters of the chapter. This is Spruce and Studs, and obviously today we are going to be taking a look at the very highly anticipated release of the action figure of Marnius Calgar from Joy Toy. Just in case if you did not know, Marnius Calgar's action figure is actually based off of the regular Primaris Aggressor, so I'm pretty interested to see what improvements Joy Toy has made based off of the regular base figure. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the review. Let's see what the Lord of McCrag has to offer. Time for the big review. Beefy. Popping the top. And here we have the Imperium's first chapter master that we get to take a look at and review. And I'm actually quite surprised because this chapter master is completely in one piece. You usually need to like put the cape on and then put the backpack on. But in this case, we don't have to do any of that. So, you know what? Let's get down to the review. And I'll have to say one thing is that he actually does come with the Primaris helmet on. I actually like my named characters to have their bare heads, so I replaced the bare head. So as usual, let's just take a look at the head first, and we're going to see what is going on with it. So you have these nice laurels and wreaths up there, and a very nicely done lens area up here for the chapter master himself. Now let's just take a look at the optional bear head that this action figure came with, and looking at the face itself, it looks actually really good. I'm surprised that they are were able to paint the whites of Calgar's teeth on, and then you have perfectly screened eyes. That's one thing that always amazes me with Joy Toys action figures, that they're able to get the Marines' eyes here. What's interesting to me is that Joy Toy has gone a little bit light on the shading on the face. Usually it is very dark and very pronounced. This time it is very light in terms of the shading. There is a ton of highlights going on with this hair. And I find the choice of the highlights to be quite interesting because it looks like the base color is a dark brown. So I would think that they would actually put this as a lighter brown color. But this is a choice that they decided to make. A few side notes too, as this captain is in Gravis armor, you can definitely feel the heft and the chunk of this action figure. He is very, very bulky and very, very heavy compared to the rest of his Primaris Brethren. And let's taking a look at the Aquila on the Pauldron. It is very beautiful and very ornate. There is a lot of texture and raised detail that you typically do not find on any other Space Marines. And of course, that would be the case because, hey, we're reviewing a Chapter Master over here and he deserves the best, right? Another thing, too, that I'm just observing throughout this whole entire action figure is that I guess Joy Toy went very, very light on the shading too. Typically this area, especially between the wings over here, there is a bunch of shade that's going on. But in this case, there really isn't very much and they went very light on it, just like with the head. Now let's flip around to the other side and you have the characteristic ultramarine symbol over here, except that there is a lot more detail that's going on over here that I really like. So you've got this brass copper edging that's going on and then it's filled on the inside with a white and this cool looking skull over here with proper shading which is quite impressive. So let's take a look at the gauntlets of Ultramar which are built in the armor of Heracles and this is a very very interesting thing that's going on over here. So what I find that's very cool about this gauntlet is that you have the empty casings being spent out of this bolter, which is very cool that I haven't seen. And you see this gigantic ammo belt all the way to the back of the backpack over here. And it is the case on this side as well. So with the bolter itself, just like with the rest of the Space Marines, you get the characteristic weathering that you would find on a Primaris bolt rifle. So you have this very dark gunmetal type of color, and then it has been highlighted with a very light silver, as you can see here. I'm also quite amazed at the 
level of detail of painting on this cabling here. The perfect spacing of the black and the yellows are very, very nice. And looking at the power fist itself on the Gauntlet of Ultramar, you have a ton of detail also that's going on. More of this wreath pattern, the skull, and I believe the skull's on fire too. All right, looking at the chest piece of Marnius Calgar, you get again the double Aquila back here, and there's two rope cords over here. All right, focusing on the belt region, which is typically Joy Toy's roughest point, this actually looks really nice, and I really like the amount of detail, again, that Joy Toy has put in. This is a very faithful action figure replica of the miniature. So you have this, well, I'm just going to call it the loincloth area, and you have this ultramarine symbol down here. And then you have a ton of purity seals. And then on the side of the leg, you have more of this inlet detail going on. Very impressive action figure. So taking a look at the leg area, you have perfectly screened kneecaps. You got the ultramarine symbol over here. Again, more of this double Aquila, the wreath and the skull action. And let's flip around the back and take a look at the cape. The cape is very gorgeously done. And this is what Joy Toy typically does. They do a fantastic job with coloring the cape. You have the shading that's going on in the recesses, and then you have a very light red where these ridges and peaks are. So it looks like a beautiful flowing cape. All right, let's focus in on Calgar's backpack and see what's going on. So we have the these double eagle symbols that you're not gonna be able to find on any other Space Marine. These are very characteristic of Marnius Calgar. Looking at the top of the eagle, you get some shading that got a little bit out of hand but other than that it looks pretty cool to me and then you have this iron halo up here with the ultramarine symbol and i'm gonna say that there might be a little bit of bleed from the from a red i'm not sure exactly where the red's coming from but this is a beautifully done iron halo that stands out very very prominently all right let's see how marnius calgar moves so the head will pivot 360 degrees and there is a lot of wobble motion that you can get with the head. So with the gauntlets of Ultramar, I don't know exactly how much motion that you're able to get mainly because of this ammo belt that's over here. So I'm going to try to do the regular 360 degree action. I don't think I'm going to be able to because of just how bulky this action figure is and I don't really want to break any of this stuff that's going on. So you're able to get the gauntlets to this position, and I believe the maximum position that you can get is up here. So that's roughly around 270 degrees of rotation about the arm. And then the forearm, again, is gonna be restricted by this ammo belt. So let's just rotate this as much as we can. So we can get it up to here, and then I'm, and I think that because of all the cords and cables, we are only able to get about 180 degrees of rotation. Actually, we're only able to get about 270 degrees of rotation about the forearm. So you can do this, and I think it stops right about here because of this cabling here. The elbow region, just like his other Space Marine brethren, is double jointed here. So you can pull this in once and then pull this in again. The fists are completely static and fixed. You can't really do anything. There's no rotation about the wrist area. And then about the chest and the torso region, you can get a little bit of wobbling motion going on. And then about the torso and the waist, you should be able to get 360 degrees of rotation if you pull the cape up like that. It's good that it's not limited. About the leg area, let's see if we can rotate this 360. I don't know if we can without popping stuff off. So let's just rotate this around. So it looks like, yes, you are able to get 360 degrees of rotation. As long as you pop the leg out towards you when you do it, there shouldn't be any range of motion that would be decreased because of this knee area. So it's also double jointed like the elbow. So you do this and then you do that again. And then more wobbling motion going on with the ankle area. And unlike his other brethren, there is no added toe motion that allows you to prop the toe for, I suppose, advanced posing. All right, Chapter Master Calgar is finally reviewed, so let me wrap this up as usual. All right, brothers and sisters of the chapter, what do I think of this action figure? 
Well, I think it is a very, very good representation of Marnius Calgar to the finest detail. Everything has been translated from the miniature form all the way up to this larger action figure form. I really like the gauntlets of Ultramar, especially the one that has the bullet casings being spewed out of it, which is a very cool touch that they did. I really like also how they were able to translate the face from the miniature all the way up to this scale too. There's a lot of iconography that's going on that you won't find in any other Space Marine, obviously because this is a chapter master over here. So do I think that this action figure is worth the price of admission? So it is actually pretty expensive in the range of around 70 to 80 dollars depending on what website you use so obviously this is no drop in the bucket well obviously if you're an ultramarines fan this is 100 percent a must buy for you you have to have the chapter master if you are a gravis armor and an aggressor fan then i think you would really like this action figure too for me personally would i have bought this action figure if i wasn't going to review it for the channel i would personally say no mainly because if you watch my prior videos, I am a Blood Angels fan through and through. And also, I'm not really much of a fan of Primaris Aggressors or the chunky armor that they have. Couple that with the fairly high price tag, I would, like I said, I would say no. But again, I will leave that decision up to you based on what you have seen me talk about during the review. So anyways, this is Spruce and Studs. I hope you enjoyed this review. And again, thank you so much for your continued viewership and you putting up with my extreme criticisms at times. I'm very appreciative of all your support. And as usual, I will see you all in the next one.